My web presentation topic was the culture of YouTube. In this presentation... What? You thought I was serious? So, this video comes to you in five parts, much like a standard high school essay. Remember those? I'd rather not! Yeah, me either. Part one, introduction. So, YouTube, right? Anyone remember a time before this magnificent and atrocious invention? No? Well, why on earth not? YouTube's only five years old. Laughable memory spans aside, YouTube has managed in five short years to change the way everyone does everything. And I'm not even exaggerating. Much. So I guess it's forgivable that you've forgotten life before the YouTubes. But because this YouTube video about YouTube videos, TUBECEPTION, is for a grade, I'm gonna stop rambling and move on to part two. Let's go! Part two, accessibility. By the very fact that I, a perfectly average college student, am posting this for the world to see right now proves the fact that YouTube is a very accessible forum. Anyone can post pretty much anything they want on this here website. And they certainly do. IQ lowering clips notwithstanding, YouTube has provided yet another successful platform for millions of independent content creators to get their stuff out there and seen by millions of people. And it's awesome, right? This free and easy method of publishing content has opened up a lot of doors for a lot of people who would have previously been stuck sulking around their parents' respective basements, grumbling about how they aren't getting anywhere because no one will listen to them. But because so many people are on YouTube, it's pretty much guaranteed that somebody somewhere is going to want to listen to what you have to say. Take me, for example. I annoy countless people IRL every day with my nerdy ramblings. But on YouTube, I have an eager audience. Thanks, YouTube. And a few people to watch you talk, or sing, or beatbox, or dance, or fight, or isn't the only thing you can get from this wonderful virtual place. You can get real success from YouTube with just the right mix of luck and talent. I mean, just look at Justin Bieber. Okay, maybe his circumstances involve more luck than talent, but I digress. Oh, you're making Bieber jokes now? Real original, hun. Fine! Allow me to gracefully move on to the next subject, then. Gracefully. <laughs> Shut up! Part 3. Information. On YouTube, with a quick keyword search, you can find how-to videos on everything from knitting to making Barrel liquid Barrel magnets. Barrel. As well as various other informational videos about totally random stuff, usually tailored to an easily digestible format for the discerning YouTube viewer who often possesses an attention span comparable to that of a small rodent. For example... A quark is a fundamental constituent of matter observed in 1968 through deep elastic scatter. Where else but YouTube would you be able to find a cleverly written song that explains particle physics in a genuinely interesting and engaging way? I'll tell ya! Nowhere! Although I may be a bit biased because I'm a hardcore Vlogbrothers fan. Nerdfighters! What's that, viewer of this video? You don't know what a nerdfighter is? Well, allow me to take this convenient opportunity to segue into part four, community. So I can explain to you what that is while continuing the constant flow of information. I could talk all day about what it means to be a nerdfighter, but the SparkNotes version is this. A nerdfighter is a person who, instead of being made out of blood and tissue and organs, is made entirely out of awesome. We fight to decrease world suck, and we have a cool gang sign. Nerdfighters! You did that already. Shut up! I just really like doing it, okay? Right. Anyway, as I was saying, nerdfighters are a community of people that spawn from, you guessed it, YouTube videos. Two perfectly average people started posting videos on their channel, people started watching said videos, countless in-jokes were formed, and French the Llama something great was created! Through the power of YouTube, this huge community of people has developed and done some wonderful things like planting trees, saving children, helping animals, putting water in villages and countries you probably never even heard of, and I think they got the picture! Right, well, I suppose that brings me to part five! Conclusion! Look, I know you were alluding to the five paragraph essay format before, but you really don't need to take it this far. Ignoring that! In summary! YouTube is great and powerful, and with great power comes great responsibility, and- Wait, what? Sorry, I got a bit sidetracked there. Where was I? Yes. Thanks to YouTube, I can put together this video and post it online for you all to see without spending any money, going to any professionals, signing any contracts, or anything of the sort. It's hopefully informative and maybe even a little bit humorous. 
it might get passed around and seen by a lot of people and maybe contribute to the development of an upstart community somewhere down the line. Who knows? But all this has the possibility to happen thanks to the power of YouTube.